Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2014 exam and is for one mark. Question says, some source S which is present in LAN 1 wants to send a IP packet to some receiver R which is present in LAN 2. Now LAN 1 is a Ethernet LAN and LAN 2 is token ring. This diagram it is given as it is in the question. I'll just display the image now. If you want to read the entire question, you can read it. Also, just have a look at this diagram, okay? In question, it is mentioned that all of these links, the links within a ISP and across two ISPs, these links, they are point to point links, okay? They are saying, if the source S while preparing the packet writes the value of TTL is equal to 32, what is the maximum possible value of TTL when receiver R receives the packet. Okay, let's find it out. See, you should know that no node present inside a LAN will decrement the TTL and every router inside the path, okay, every router on this path will decrement the TTL. Now, because S is present in Ethernet LAN, S will directly give the packet to its default gateway, okay. That means this router. So this router is present on the path, hence it will decrement the value of TTL. Similarly, this router will also decrement the value of TTL. Parallelly, this router and this router and this one, all of these routers will decrement the value of TTL. And moreover, packet can be sent from here to here or from here to here in one hop only because all of these links are point to point links. Now, this router has decremented the value of TTL and it will forward the packet to this node. This is not a router. So this node, moreover, it is present inside a LAN, okay? Inside a LAN, you won't decrement the value of TTL. It will directly give the packet to receiver R. Now, receiver has got the packet. Let us see what is the maximum possible value of TTL when receiver gets it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have decremented the value 5 times. Initially it was 32, so it seems as if answer must be 32 minus 5, which is 27. But there is a small confusion. Some books say that receiver also decrements the value of TTL and some books says receiver will not decrement the value of TTL. If receiver decrements the value of TTL, then we decrement total 6 times. That means in that case answer will be 32 minus 6 which is 26. If receiver does not decrement the value of TTL then answer will be 27. And in the official answer key for gate exam of 2014 answer is 26. Okay. Now let us analyze. Should this receiver actually decrement TTL or not? Okay. Let us try to find some reasoning. See. For that you need to know what is the purpose of TTL field. TTL field is included in an IP header just to avoid infinite loops. Suppose packet started looping between these two routers due to some XYZ reason. Okay. Now this is this packet is continuously using bandwidth and the resources just for creating a useless loop. We want to avoid such loops. This can be avoided by including TTL. See if TTL is 32 and every router decrements TTL. That means in 32 hops, TTL will become zero. And whenever TTL becomes zero, the router will discard that packet then and there, okay? So that means after some finite amount of hops inside this loop, the packet will eventually get discarded because TTL will become zero. So that loop has been avoided. So I don't find any logical reason that receiver should decrement the value of TTL. If receiver got TTL is equal to say 7, it will directly give the value, sorry, give the packet to upper layers. Okay. Decrementation of TTL is done by a router just before forwarding it. When this router wants to forward a packet to this one, it will decrement the TTL because one hop is just about to begin. Okay. This hop has to be counted, right? So that is the reason the router decrements the value of TTL. Now once receiver has received, there are no more hops. All of these hops are already counted. 
Now because receiver has received the packet, see data link layer will get the packet from channel, it will give to network layer and network layer is going to give packet to upper layers which is transport and application layer so on okay. Now when network layer gets the packet, network layer will see destination IP address is this one only. That means packet is for this node only and it need not be forwarded okay. So uh, this network layer will directly give the packet to upper layers irrespective of the value of TTL okay. We should not make a hard and fast rule that every node has to decrement TTL and so on because the purpose of TTL is avoiding infinite loops on the path okay. Now packet is not on the path it has reached its destination so we should not decrement the value of TTL at the destination and hence answer must be 27 but according to official answer key answer is 26 and one more point see logically we should not decrement it and there are some RFCs claiming that it is not decremented okay so actually this is not decremented but even if you decrement it suppose when you got the packet the value was 1 even if you decrement it and make it 0 still packet will not be discarded because network layer will see that destination is this one only. Now even if this value becomes 0 still this destination will not discard it okay. See normally if the value becomes 0 routers will discard the packet but destination won't discard the packet even if the value becomes 0 because see first thing is you simply don't decrement okay. Second thing is even if you decrement you will not discard the packet if the value becomes 0 because the packet is already on the destination only okay there is no chance of infinite loops now. The network layer it will see that destination address is same as that of its own destination and its own IP address okay. So packet has reached where it was intended for okay. It will directly give the packet to upper layers. And suppose you discard the packet here okay again the packet has to come from the same path again the receiver might set the same value okay again this might happen 1 and decrement it to 0 and discard it and that is of no use eventually packet has to reach here you are just discarding it without any reason okay so this should not be discarded and there is a confusion that is it decremented or not okay.